Hello again, Howard Cosell lovers, and how right you are. <laughs> Welcome to the Friday Night Domestic Fights. Coming to you direct from Suburbia Gardens, the arena for tonight's domestic Donnybrook, the dining room of Grace and Harvey Melman, who've been slugging it out for the past 17 years. As tonight's marital melee progresses, I'll be bringing you my own infallible opinion right out of the horse's aperture. <laughs> I see one of the adversaries in the altercation approaching. Tell me, Mrs. Melman, as you arrange that table, are you sufficiently psyched up for tonight's grudge match against your husband? You can fetch your bippy, Buster. Do you realize that this is the fourth Friday in a row that that clown has come home late for dinner? The plain truth is your marriage has been leading up to this confrontation for years. One even wonders why it took so long to bring about. Well, I was trying to think of a way to divorce him without making him happy. <laughs> I think you're full of mucks. Thanks, Howie. I think you're full of it, too. Well, here comes the challenger. Harvey, your wife has intimated that tonight is the night you're going to get yours. Are yeah, you kidding? I already got mine on the way home. I see your opponent, Mrs. Melman, has intimated that you're over the hill. Yeah, but she doesn't know who I've been over the hill with. <laughs> now you both know the rules of the State Matrimonial Commission. Today's lucky winner will go to Las Vegas for an uncontested, all-expense-paid divorce. The loser gets custody of the children. Let's have a good, clean fight. May the keener contender carry off the cornucopia of victory. Well, I certainly hope you're satisfied. Because of you, the pot roast is burned. How can you tell? Even the garbage disposal couldn't keep your cooking down. Are you kidding? You're too cheap to buy a garbage disposal. We got one living in the back room. Your brother. Well, they're feeling each other out. Grace opens with a sweeping generality. Harvey counters with an underhanded comment. You lied to me before I married you. You told me that you were well off. I was, but I didn't know it. A nifty exchange. This is shaping up to be the greatest fight since Liz and Dick. Boy, if you could only read my mind. No, thanks. I don't do flat work. A follow to the Cumberbund. And another thing. Why don't you ever take me golfing with you? I can only drag around one old bag at a time. Well, for your information, I still have the body of a young girl. Well, give it back, because you're getting it all wrinkled. End of round one. Mrs. Melman has taken charge with a fusillade of affronts and half aspersions. The only interrogatory which remains pertinent is... How much longer can the bum take it? Every time you take a shower, how come that you insist upon using my best linen guest towels? Because I'm tired of drying myself off with your nylon pantyhose. Ah, <laughs> uh, you wear lifts in your bedroom slippers. You wear lifts in your bras. <laughs> all right, if I'm such a terrible person, then why did you send me all those flowers on our honeymoon? Because I thought you were dead. <laughs> okay, that does it. Now step out. Uh-oh. Oh, this fight looks like it might lead to violence. The question, will he rise to the bait? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's over. This fight is over. Harvey Melman has just ripped the seat of his trunks. He can't continue. The winner on a split decision, Mrs. Melman. <laughs>